Hey guys, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. If you missed the last episode, we met Triss Merigold. Um, and now we're here. Uh, we need to go and loot this. Bit shish. Um, basically, just need to run up here and chat to the dreamer in the old house. Shady who? Well, okay then. Wait, why is there telling me there's something inside here? Hmm. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. <laughs> Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. Who is this? I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Oh. Well, okay, then. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Lovely. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Well, okay then. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Okay, we found her a lot easier than I thought we would, to be honest. We have to loot up everything, though. I don't care if it's his house. He owns a bank. He can afford to lose some stuff. He can definitely afford to lose some stuff. Damn. Okay. Cool. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Leave what? Is she upstairs or is she down? Okay. I can't figure out where she is. Huh. We're about to get some sort of secret, aren't we? Okay, where's, um... Which one is it? It's odd. What is down here? Oh. Nothing useful. That's a bit of a dud. Maybe I've got two things here. Maybe there's something special here. There is not. No. Okay. Yeah. Nothing special. Well, at least we checked. That's the key thing. Let's go back up and find out what's bothering her. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Um, what? What is going on? That's one of these again. Is she okay? Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake she is up. out of it. Absolutely out of it. The doll. The attic. What? All right. Time to check the attic. Stop. Oh. Go away. Don't do that. 
Leave it. I don't know if she's talking about me looting or if she's talking to the weird thing that we fought before. Well, not fought, that we helped on, didn't we? Basically, we're just gonna take fucking everything. Okay, put that out. She's just saying the same thing over and over again. Okay, well, there's the ladder to the attic. So, what's in this room? She has more loot. Okay, ooh. You keep some mug in a big old drawer like that. Let's go find out what's in the attic. Way to the next room is blocked. Interesting. I mean, we now have to deal with that. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Drawing of a crib. Hmm. Take the doll. Do I really want to do that? Does that seem like a safe idea? Probably not. But I am a witcher, so I guess it's my job. What's in the bar? There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what'd happen if I laid a doll in it. Oh boy. Again, nothing good is going to happen. But you have to learn the hard way sometimes, I guess. Which room is it in? It's in the back room, isn't it? Yes. <coughs> okay. Find out why the door slammed shut. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Okay. An oven in the cellar. So we're going back up. Thank God we have Witcher Sense to help us. I really need to stop doing roller polies like that. Yeah, we'll take the ladle. Oh, look. Something else we forgot to loot. Huh. Where's the oven? What? I don't see no oven. The cellar. This isn't a cellar, this is the attic. I've got my housing wrong. Right. Let's go down. Come on. Oh, I can hear it. Great. Yep, examine that. Boo. Scared the shit out of me. Did I scare you? Yes. Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Okay. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> The house ain't haunted. Not 
one bit. I just pretend it is, make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! All right. Uh. Uh. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Okay then. Wasn't that nice and diplomatic of us? And we got to screw over the banker, who's probably a very nice guy, who knows? But oh well. Right. There she is. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Cool. I guess we know where we're going next. Novigrad Dreaming. Right, let's go talk to the banker. Where is he? I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Um. Yeah, be honest. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently, though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. He's probably gonna, like, burn the house down, isn't he? The more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, he's probably gonna burn the house down and kill this poor little godling. I say poor little godling. Bit of an evil bitch, wasn't she? But that's okay. Lovely. Oh, look, all the rats are still here. Lovely. How far was this golden uh, surgeon? Or sturgeon, sorry. What's he doing here? We'll grab this quick, see if there's any new quests or anything. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Uh, help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Fantastic. Old villagers pitching. Lords out with their purses. Ladies too light with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? To help men in need. Great. Yeah, time you went home. 
You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Nailed it. Man of people. Right, where is Corrine? Okay, we'll take a shortcut. Um, why are they all half naked? <laughs> No, that's not green. Where is she? He's pissed. He's pissed as well. Cool. Mate, please move out of the way. Is she upper floor? She must be. I suppose that would make sense if she's renting a room. First achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Okay, I can do that. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Um, I trained her at Cairn Mohan. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Cairn Mohan. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Uh, sure. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Um, we'll tell them everything. It'd probably help us find out better, right? I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion... They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny? By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yeah, let's keep going. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Great. Um, yes, yeah, saved her life once. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have one, yeah, I have more to say. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A 
boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Um. <sighs> yeah. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, honestly, the more we say, the better, I figure. Yeah, there's something else. Okay. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. Yeah. One more to go. There's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Um. Yeah, Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Who's Max Dandelion? And what is she knitting? What is going on now? Is that meant to be someone I know? I'm sure this is someone Siri bumped into or something. Because I don't recognise him. What the hell? So we're looking for an explosion. Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. Um, the Rosemary and Time. That's an inn. The Rosemary and Time. Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Oh, great. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. So do I. 
Okay, let's go to the raspberry and thyme. Raspberry and thyme, the rosemary thyme. Raspberry, what am I talking about? As it will take a shortcut. Right. 215 meters. Not close. Not close at all. In fact, at some point, surely we're going to have to... That's the wrong button. At some point, surely we're going to have to come out of the actual town. To do all this. Because, like, look how big this stuff is. Because this must be Novigrad as well. I guess we'll find out. So let's just keep going this way. Yeah, come on, Witcher, you can sprint. That's it. Work those thighs. Can't believe this place has a red light district. I don't know why I'm surprised. But... I never come back, you stinking stadies. All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! Who's arguing? Okay. And no idea. Again. Oh. Looks like rain. Looks like rain. Thank you. I figured it was rain. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Well, that doesn't look like dandelion. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local colour. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? <laughs> sure. Oh, wow. Okay, who just threw dust at me? Come on. Oh my god. Okay, let... Come on. Right, one down. My god. My goodness. Okay, they are down. Cool. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Weathered. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Yes. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Um, well, yeah, why? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. I mean, I'm also going to loot everything. Because, why not? Ah, a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. What we got here? Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. 
Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. Is it now? It says planner. Oh. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Well, you Besides, know. anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, could help, I guess. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Sure. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you <laughs> are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Right. I mean, we're still going to loot up. Oh, it's a chest I can put stuff in. Huh. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry would themselves did the honours. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... The faculty of Oxenford University is honoured to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Right. Good to know, I guess. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Great. Well, that's very good for him. A letter from Fran. Okay. Cool. And we can also level up, which is nice. Right, we'll just loot the rest of this place. Got this shit everywhere. Okay. There's literally shit everywhere. Okay. Cool. Well, this this room looted. We've now looted this room almost. Yep. Come on. Poor Dandelion's gonna come back and have nothing in his house. And that's okay with me. So if you heard that, my time is just not for my uh, washing, so I'll have to go and do that once we finish looting. We're literally just taking everything. I say I'm like I'm surprised, but I'm the one that's just robbing. I am robbing this dude. Maybe we could hold his like bread and shit as ransom if he doesn't give us a proper answer. What's around here? Nothing. Okay. Now let's go up a floor. Now that we've got way more people we need to talk to. Anything up here? Only this stuff. Is this meant to be his bedroom? Oh, that's locked. Interesting. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, I think we will leave this episode here then. If you have enjoyed, please drop the video a like, guys. It helps amazingly, as you know. If you're new and you're not subscribed and you'd like to, that'd also be amazing. And hopefully, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.